what's going on there, here in Fuse Minds, Ethan Kidd, welcome to the channel. And today I'm taking a look at, well, I want to explain something to a lot of people uh, online who don't seem to understand uh, my stance on the 64 system. Now, basically, right, a few months, it was about a month or two ago, I made a video talking about my 64 mini purchase. Now, I know PK Universe recently had a video, is ever kicking out with the, P, with the um, 64 mini? Which is obviously a parody, and I'm, well, I'm not parody, but I play on words for the old Commodore. Uh, which is C64 is, is an old Commodore computer, which obviously the line was, are you keeping it on the Commodore? It's like a little jingle did not their old adverts. And to me, I want to explain why I think even if you have a, C C C have a C64 Mini, it is still a good purchase to get the new C64 collection. Now, first of all, let's first of all take a look at the people will say, well, well, like twenty dollars for the C64 Mini C64 collection on Evercade. There's only 14 games, and you know, the 64 Mini uh, has like 64 games for $40, and that is true, that is a fair point. But what you remember with the C64 Mini is it has to always be plugged into a TV or computer or monitor to work. Whilst if it's say, say you're handheld hand only and you get the Evercade HP or you have the original Evercade handheld, there is no reason for you to not get the C64 Mini collection if you want it. I'm not going to force anyone to buy it if they don't want it. Obviously, I've, I've obviously pre-ordered it because I wanted it because I wanted to support the company who obviously owns all the games now. Because obviously they're a small retro company from what I've heard and they just make a lot of mini consoles. And I also want to support Evercade and Blaze and show that there is interest in more games on the platform. Now, to me personally, I've not really been a fan of the C64. I've bought the C64 mini because it was cheap and I wanted to try out some of the games. The joystick is terrible. I will say that for a record. The joystick is terrible. But to me, getting the season 4 mini collection is just a way for me to play the game is portable. I mean, I'm getting the Evercade XP. I've, I spent £185 on the limited edition version. And I was thinking, screw it, you know. Get, I pre ordered the season 4 mini collection, pre ordered Hours Awakening, pre ordered Iron, pre ordered Toa, Toa Plank, because obviously they're all part of the limited edition version. I'm going to get Indie Heroes 2. I'm a huge Evercade fan. Evercade's like the one big system I collect for at the minute because I got bored with the buying games for the. Switch and I sold my Xbox 360 collection because I didn't want the 360 anymore because it was kind of not really my thing anymore. You know, I, I still have obviously I've been collecting for the Master System and Mega, Mega Drive, obviously. But to me, then like systems I'm interested in a minute. I have a Game Boy Advance, don't really buy Game Boy games or Game Boy Advance games because they've gone up for so much in price, right? But to me, the other kids are quite a cheap option now. I own every Evercade cart that's been released so far. I from Atari Collection 1 all the way up to the most recent cartridges, which would obviously be Jalico Arcade 2 and Galico Arcade. I have I own all them. All 32 carts. I have Hours Waiting and C64 Mini or C64 Collection on pre-order. And to me, the whole reason I'm getting C64 Collection is just so I can play the games portably. Because obviously, I know a lot of people are like, oh, those games are quite dated, why would you want to play them portably? Yeah, I know, but it's an interesting concept to me. And the game just new games on Evercade is a huge win for us all. Especially if we just collect the games. Even if you don't play them. If you want to have them in your collection, just have a little piece there. Like, hey, you know, I own these games now on physical media. Because what you remember with C64 Mini is, obviously, if the system breaks, you can't replace, well, you can't really replace the actual games. You don't, those games are gone. Right, and you can argue that, oh, well, if the Evercade cartridge replaced, you know, it breaks, you can, you know, you can't, you can't, you don't own those games. That is also true, but they're cheaper to get hold of, and they'll be cheaper to replace. Now, I'm not trying to justify buying a C64 Mini C64 collection to anyone who doesn't want one. You know, especially since obviously my whole my whole channel is basically Evercade dedicated at this point. That's why I rebranded from PGPYT to Evercade. But to me, C64 was obviously was a huge thing in my country back in the 80s and 90s because obviously I'm I'm British. But, to me, I own the C64 Mini just because I wanted one. And I'm getting the C64, C64 collection on Evercade because I want it. You know, if you don't want the collection, don't buy it. That's all you got to do. And I'm just saying that like, it makes logical sense to me. To buy the collection if you want to play these games on a handheld, portably, legally. I know you can get some... I know like people might be trying to like, track on a ZX Spectrum Vega Plus or whatever to think that thing was... As far as I remember hearing that that was a scam... But, you know, I'm sure there are tons of these Android handhelds out there, or, you know, whatever, 
which people have just like preloaded load of games on, and that if that's your thing, fine. But to me, if you want to play, I want to play these games legally in a way which is licensed and obviously on a physical cartridge. And they're doing that. They're doing that with the Evercade C64 collection. That's why I'm buying it. That's why I'm adding it to my collection. You know, my Evercade collection is obviously going to be like forty cartridges by the end of the, end of the year because I'm going to have all the, I have all footage that are currently available plus the other. Well, yeah, plus the other five coming out this year, so, oh sorry, 37 games, 37 cuts, technically. And obviously, I'm going to keep collecting forever, because everything is a huge thing, and a huge part of my life, because it's one of my favourite systems to collect for. Because it's new, it's cheap, it's got some great games, great indies, great retros, you know, some obscure stuff, some well-known stuff, it's really great to me. And I just want to say that, if you don't want to buy a C64 collection mini, so a C64 collection, don't buy it. But, if we do, if you do buy it, you're helping... Show Blazers interest in microcomputers, and obviously then we'll get more microcomputer collections, more and more as time goes on, including stuff from Amigas, as I expect from hopefully, you know, BBC Micros one that's possible, probably possible. It always, it'd always be great just to get more microcomputer games. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Are you buying the C64 mini, a C64 collection? I hate saying that word because I slur my words. So C64 is what I struggle to say. C and six obviously sounds like they're blown together, but yeah. If you um, let me know if you're buying it in the comments down below. Let me know if you're not buying it. You know, let me know what microcomputer you want to see. Let me see what games you want on Evercade. You know, if you're new here, make sure you like, share, subscribe. I've been Evercade, and I'm signing out. Peace.